Fox News lately uh, has been in a, a bit of trouble. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about how, uh, you know, it might be a little bit past its prime. In fact, Media Matters that usually tracks Fox News said, the war on Fox is over, we have won. Uh, because the whole point was to point out that Fox News is a propaganda unit uh, for the Republican Party, and that mission is fairly well accomplished. Well, in fact, Frank Rich wrote a very large article in New York Magazine about this, and he made some really good points that I wanted to share with you. Now, understand, yes, Fox News... Uh, beat CNN and MSNBC in the ratings. In fact, they beat them uh, combined. So give them credit on that. There's no question about that. But when you look into who's watching them, and you get a sense of perspective and context, and whether they're having a political effect, mm, that's a different story. So first interesting fact that Rich points out, that in between 1952 and 1988, Republicans had won seven out of ten presidential elections. They were doing pretty well. Now, uh, since the rise of conservative radio and then Fox News, which goes dates back to 92, you had Rush Limbaugh already uh, ascendant at that point, and then Fox News comes in in 96. Well, Democrats have won five out of the six popular votes since that time. Okay, So, mm, not as well. Obviously, Al Gore won the popular vote, and Bush became president anyway. But winning five out of the six popular votes, obviously, the Democratic Party a little bit more popular. So if their aim was to make sure the Republicans win, well, it's a mixed record at best, right? Although Fox News, of course, had a huge role to play in 2000 in making sure Bush got the presidency, even though he did not win the presidency, either the popular vote or the electoral vote, based on a full recount of Florida. Now, uh, when you look at present day, you see that they still have over a million primetime viewers. Well, that's not bad, especially compared to their competition. CNN has 568,000 primetime viewers, so they're getting their ass handed to them by Fox News. So, so far, not bad. But to give you a sense of pr perspective, CBS Evening News, which is the lowest rated of all the evening news broadcasts, has 8 million primetime viewers. Okay? So, now look, that's not to say that CBS Evening News or the other broadcasts that are even larger are, are very important either at this point. I'm not sure how many people pay attention to them uh, as well. And that's always been the case that the evening news was much larger than anything on cable news, right? I understand that, but it does give you some context. Now we get to the beef. Now, the last time we checked in on Fox News, we only had the number for Bill O'Reilly's uh, audience, and we knew that their average age back in 06 was 71 years old. So that's the number we'd been using. Well, now we have a number for their current average age for the entire network well it's younger than o'reilly's audience of course you've got the megan kelly's you've got the daytime programming you got the morning show younger people watch that of course so the average age is 68 68 years old now that audience isn't getting any younger even though they're moving megan kelly to prime time and she's not 90 years old no it's actually getting older you know that last year the average age of the Fox audience grew by two years. In one year, their average age grew by two years. <laughs> Good luck to you, brother. Good luck to you. In fact, Frank Rich says, with a median viewer age now at 68, according to Nielsen data through mid-January, Fox is, in essence, a retirement community. Okay. Now, of course, I love that point, partly because I made it seven years ago. No, now eight years ago. Let's go to a quote by me. <laughs> in 2006. So it turns out this big, bad, powerful O'Reilly is basically doing a show at a senior citizen center. <laughs> All right. Hey, look, um, great and sometimes mediocre minds think alike. So. <laughs> Uh, Frank Rich, I'm right there with you, brother. I've been with you all along. So that was, of course, O'Reilly's audience of 71 that I was referring to back then. Now, one more fun fact before we leave you on this. What percentage of their audience is black? Now, this is good. Hang in there. First of all, MSNBC does much better than the national average. 25% uh, of their viewers are African Americans. Now, that makes sense because they have a lot of African American hosts. They give African Americans a voice. So that's very sensible. CNN is a little higher than national average, 14%. That's good. Broadcast networks are right around the national average. 12% of their viewers are black. Uh, now, here comes the Republicans and Fox News. Mitt Romney got 2% of the black vote. Well played. Okay. Well, so that's disastrous. How about Fox News? 1.1% of their audience is black. Awesome. Okay. See, gee, I wonder if just old white men are watching them. I can't quite tell. 